What is going on Method Gaming? My name is Orphan Slayer and I am bringing to you a Halo 3 gameplay and gonna kinda introduce myself because I've been with Method Gaming from the beginning actually and I've never done a commentary or anything. You may have noticed I did a edit for Pwnstar, his Battlefield 3 montage Decimate as well as a dual montage for both him and Roxy for uh, Modern Warfare 3 very recently. And uh kind of wanted to just introduce myself and uh, give you an idea of what I'm about, what I do, and uh, yeah. So, first of all, I just want to say big thanks to my uh, my good friend Quiggy for giving me this gameplay. I'm a Halo player myself, uh, it's the main game that I play, but I'm nowhere near as good as him, so thought I might as well uh, ask for a gameplay because well, I, I want something to entertain you guys, obviously, and... I have more faith that he can do it than me. But, um, so yeah, I am an editor. I am part of Vendetta Films, which was originally brought in to Method Gaming to do more of like a weekly edit type thing to get montages out pretty frequently. Also, to do things like the intro, which was done by a fellow Vendetta member, uh, Zen. And, uh, just do that kind of editing normal stuff. But, uh, unfortunately, uh, a lot of the guys kind of just haven't been active lately. They haven't been around. They haven't made any montages or anything. So, I am one of the few active members left. And, uh, that's why there's not too much editing content on this channel, which I feel is unfortunate. I know most of you guys are probably subscribed for, uh, the commentaries. But, uh, but I know that, uh, editing will give a nice change of pace every once in a while. So I try to put montages out every now and again. Um, my start in montages, actually, I have been a Halo editor for about three years now. Um, I, didn't, I didn't start really editing montages until about two years ago. I did little, like, videos for maps that I made or that friends had made really early on in Halo 3. Um, but got into montages a little later on and I've been doing that for about two years I really really love doing it it's a ton of fun and uh, just recently really is when I've been starting to branch out and trying other games I did my first Call of Duty 4 montage probably about a year ago and it was I haven't done anything since really until I edited uh, Pwn's first Battlefield 3 montage uh, for the beta probably a I don't know, I guess it's like half a year ago now. Um, but yeah, so I've done so many games now. I've edited Halo 3, Halo Reach, uh, Call of Duty 4, Black Ops, Modern Warfare 3, uh, CSS, um, a whole bunch of games. And uh, I've, I, I've just recently gotten into commentaries. I, I actually did some a while back, but honestly I was just total crap at them. You wouldn't even want to <laughs> hear them. They were so atrocious and awkward and crap. Um, I know I'm not the best commentator now, uh, but I do th think that I can at least uh, not sound like a total dipshit, so that's a plus. But yeah, so you guys might be wondering why I am bringing you Halo 3 gameplay and not Reach when Halo 3 has been out for, what is it, like four years now and Halo Reach just came out uh, a year or two ago? I don't even know at this point. Um, but, one, I like to bring a little variety. I know that there is some Halo, not much Halo, but some Halo reach on the channel. But the main reason is because Halo 3 is just one of those games for me that just my entire gaming ex experience was built on. Um, I did play Halo 2 and uh, games like that back in the early days of the original Xbox. Actually, that wasn't even the early days. That was like the middle days. Um, but yeah, I I got into Halo 2 campaign and custom games with friends. I didn't ever play that game online, but I absolutely loved it. And that's basically where I got my start in uh, video games with Halo 2. That, along with games like James Bond Nightfire for the, uh, the GameCube. And I just love that game. <laughs> just had to bring it up. But, um... But yeah, so Halo 3 was um, the first online game I ever played, the first matchmaking game I ever played, and 
I mean, I totally sucked monkey nuts when I started, and I'm sure a good majority of you who have played Halo uh, know that it's a game that you can't really jump into and do well. I know Call of Duty, um, it's tough to just on your first game do well, but you can uh, you can hold your own. In Halo, from my experience, if you start off that game with no experience in any Halo, you are going to get ass fucked because it is... It is, it is a tough game to do well against uh, good players, even if you're good yourself. And on top of that, um, I know that Halo 3 might be a little outdated in comparison to Reach, but I find it to be an all-around better game. Uh, I know that most people who have been uh, long-term, hardcore Halo fans have been uh, all about Halo 2 and Halo C. Um, but I, I I like Halo 3 because I didn't really have that multiplayer experience in Halo 2. And uh, so Halo 3 was my real start to that. And it gave me an idea of what multiplayer gameplay is like. And so from that I formulated my opinion of every other game. So I don't know. I've just always had a soft spot for this game. Uh, even when other people seem to not. And uh, Reach on the other hand... Uh, I think they, they went a little too far on the things like loadouts and armor abilities. They tried to make it too Call of Duty-esque. I know the gameplay itself doesn't really feel Call of Duty-esque too much, but I have I just am more of a fan of the simplicity of Halo 2 and 3 and CE, even though I haven't played too much of uh, the original Halo. But, uh, but yeah, so that's why I wanted to bring the Halo 3 gameplay. And <clears throat> what I wanted to talk about for the rest of this commentary was the Halo community in general. Because, uh, especially on YouTube, it's entirely dominated by, uh, by Call of Duty. There is a little bit of uh, growing interest in Battlefield, it seems, which is cool to see. I like to see something uh, that isn't Call of Duty doing well. Um, <clears throat> but as far as Halo goes, the Halo community on YouTube is extremely small. Uh, I'd say that some of the bigger channels, obviously uh, a lot of people know Campy. Um, he's one of the more famous Halo players, as it is. But uh, there are a few other people, but most people in the Halo community on YouTube have like 2,000 subs or less. I, I, I know that subs don't really mean all that much. Uh, but as far as just like the amount of views that a Halo video gets compared to a Call of Duty video, it's just... Not even close at all, but not, that doesn't really matter because the Halo community is really... Well, actually, it's it's been recently divided. Back in, like, Halo 2 and even Halo 3, the community has been really tight and everyone really appreciated each other's videos and stuff like that. But uh, with Reach and the whole, uh, the whole deal with everyone being like, oh, this game sucks in comparison to the other Halos... Um, which, in my opinion, it doesn't. I think it's a good game. I don't think it's as good as Halo 3 or 2 or 1. But uh, I don't think it sucks. I think it's still a fun game to play. But, uh, I don't even remember where I was going with this. But, yeah, the the people just seem to uh, back each other more in Halo 2 than they did in, uh, in the Halo Reach and even a little bit in Halo 3. But, uh, the community is a small community that <clears throat> I would personally really like to see grow. And I'm not just saying that because, well, I guess I kind of am just saying that because, uh, a lot of my video making has been, uh, historically with Halo 3. I haven't done too much outside of it. I mean, obviously I've done the videos I was talking about that earlier. But, um, but yeah, so I'd like to see an increase. Hopefully... Um, Halo 4 um, will be good, and I know that most of you guys haven't been living under a rock, so you've probably seen the Halo 4 trailer. Uh, if not, go check it out, because it looked really good. Um, I'm really looking forward to Halo 4. I'm hoping that it brings back some of the uh, old vigor that Halo had when it was uh, one of the top games on the Xbox, although I guess it still kind of is. Um, I, I just hope that it can uh, revive some of Halo's old life and uh, bring it back to the way it was. So that just about wraps up this commentary. I want to thank you guys for watching, and uh, that's about it. Uh, I hope to...
to bring more Halo or anything else to you in the future, maybe. Probably some montages more likely because uh, that's what I do. But thanks for watching, everyone, and I will talk to you guys later.